All right, so we started looking at a repair for Dell Inspiron 14-3452. It's one of those small mini laptops and the customer brought it in and they wanted a, a reinstall because the operating system was corrupted. Um, so what I did, I, I, I took it down to do a little check on it, found out that there was no hard disk inside. Um, instead, what it contained was a memory chip that is used as storage. Now, these are those embedded multimedia um, memory cards kind of like what comes in smartphones and so forth they're small storage so the maximum capacity of storage was about 32 gigs now i've seen these as either 32 or 64 gigs and manufacturers do that or the, the company does that in order to save money they are cheaper end um, chips and so the laptop cost less and people um, go for that right so whenever you see most of these devices 32 gigs of storage uh, what happened is that Windows 10 installation alone will fill that up. You put in a couple of programs and your hard drive seems to be filled up. So we decided we'd try the installation. The reinstallation, the repair didn't work. So I had to up to just clean off and put in, put in a new operating system on it. So I was prepping my disk first with Rufus 2.9, which when, every time I tried booting, um, it would say no, no um, hard drive would be found. So, to remedy that problem, I had to download Rufus 3.2, um, which gave me some other options in terms of creating that boot disk. And I'll show you that on screen. So, if I run 3.2, I already have it running. Um, you'll notice that after inserting a disk, it requests a disk image, which I will just select and put in. Um, and then the other feature was that the target system was a UEFI system, right? Which, which was key for me. And so the partition stays the same, file system stays the same. I don't think you have the option of changing it to NTFS. Um, that stays the same. Um, and then we would just start preparing the disk. Yeah, so here's a couple of screenshots um, from the errors we were getting earlier where we tried to prep the disk using our regular install or our regular um, prepped uh, operating system on flash drive and it kept giving the same error saying that windows um, did not recognize the partition to install and so this was why i decided to upgrade the rufus and have it um, create a brand new installable usb disk for me uh, again, the type of file system you're using during the preparation process is NTFS and you also need to set back into the BIOS, set back and have it as a secure boot. So it's, you're, not, you're, you're no longer using the legacy boot, you're using secure boot. So the USB or the flash drive is prepped, the USB drive or the flash drive is prepped so that you can use it you can use it using secure boot so i'm going to insert that and restart the installation process for you and show you how that goes so with my system booting up and just again i'm selecting the boot drive it is my usb storage but i'm using the uefi um, os that i have on my sandisk drive so i go ahead and i select that and it does its thing in getting past that secure boot process and starting the boot up process that's pretty much it from there um, so if you're looking to install on one of these emmc disc or these small embedded multimedia um, cards which most of the smaller laptops now bring for i, I guess for affordability reasons from the manufacturer um, then it means that you have to use the newer version of Rufus and create your bootable disk as an NTFS disk in order for it to be able to boot or allowing allow you to install an operating system on it so for a while this was tough 
I just wanted to get this online. Took me a, took me several days doing some research, digging in. I couldn't find the correct driver um, for the hard drive because for some reason I thought that they they would have placed up a driver for the memory drive or a driver for the embedded multimedia card, um, and then I would be able to simply use that driver. But that wasn't available to me. Therefore, I had to do it this way. Right? So I'll just show you the rest of the installation process. Uh, this worked for me. Hope it works for you.